Hi, my name is Amanda Rowe. I graduated from Etobicoke School of the Arts in 2005. I majored in drama and I minored in music. I may not play the trumpet anymore, but I am currently the co-executive producer director on CW CBS's Nancy Drew. I've also directed TV series for Marvel, DC, uh, Netflix. I would not be here if it weren't for the discipline, the training, the perspective Etobicoke School of the Arts gave me on life and art and making art a career and not just a pipe dream. Being surrounded by talented artists who are ambitious and some of which are already working completely changes the way you look at your hopes and dreams. They feel very, very realistic, reachable, and they are. I mean, look at me. <laughs> My name is Callan Schaub. I'm an abstract painter and performance artist, now known globally for my performances, I guess social media presence, creating a movement and encouraging artists all over the world to chase their passion. ESA was instrumental in creating a foundation for me to uh, not only believe in myself, but also have a strong base and understanding of what art meant before I took it to the next level. One of the feelings and, and things that I learned at ESA that I remember most vividly is the very first time that I experienced the thrill and the hustle of putting together my first show. Um, everything's coming together at the last minute, you're tying up all these loose ends, and it was the first time that I had done something like that. And, and uh, I remember saying to a friend, I was standing in the music hallway and I said, I'm flying by the seat of my pants and I've never felt more alive. And that feeling is one that I have chased, that thrill and, and pride of, of creating a, a performance that I have put all of my heart and thought into. I have chased that the rest of my career in every single project that I have taken on. And that attitude would not have existed were it not for the curriculum and time and conversations that were taken on by the teachers at that school. They really encouraged us to have that feeling and to put everything into these projects. So it's so specific to that program and I'm so grateful to have had teachers who cared that much about us caring about the work that we did. Hey there, my name's Noah Reed. I am an actor and a musician, and I'm also a graduate of the very, very fine Etobicoke School of the Arts. Um, for me, my time at ESA was invaluable uh, as a place where it was clearly not only acceptable, but it was like, it was cool. It was fun to be interested in the arts and in you know, expanding your creative landscape. It just gave me the opportunity to to work on what I what I cared about the most, which is the arts, being creative. Um, I remember going in for audition day and just feeling like the halls were so alive with energy and with with young people working on themselves and and working on their craft. And there was a sort of a level of, of excitement about that that I found really uh, enthralling. And certainly that continued while I was there. It's where I've made some of my closest friendships in life that I that I treasure. And, uh, you know, it. I think it's so rare for a high school to be this kind of fear-free uh, environment. And that's what ESA was. It was a, a, a lack of fear and anxiety around being an arts kid or, um, you know, uh, being different or thinking differently. I just want to say uh, that ESA and my time there helped me immeasurably as an artist and as a human being, and uh, it's a great place to go to school. Hey there, my name is Brittany Allen. I am an Emmy-winning actor and a composer for film and TV, and I went to Etobicoke School of the Arts. I studied musical theater. And I will tell you that that school is an experience that I truly wish every young person could have. I think it's a very safe space to discover who you are, who you want to be, what you 
feel about the world and what you want to bring to the world within the school and beyond it. You're surrounded by people who are passionate about the arts and and who are very skilled at what they do and it's it's just an invigorating environment to be in and you know the teachers that i had in the academic areas i i just think back on so fondly still because they were pivotal in in um, shaping the way that i think and the way that i approach the world and life now and society now so Best of luck and go for it. Hi there, my name is Carol Nguyen. I'm a filmmaker and a former ESA film student. I graduated in 2016 and since then my career has skyrocketed um, in a direction that I never knew that I could reach. And I can confidently say that it was all due to ESA film, the lessons, the teachers, and just the experience that I had there. I learned how to take personal stories and tell it in a universal way. I learned how to think critically. I learned how to build my confidence in showing work, taking constructive criticism, being able to push myself and my limits. And ultimately, I fell in love for filmmaking at ESA Film, I would say due to the teachers, due to the environment that was built around us, and if it wasn't for that experience, I don't know where my life would be right now. So I am grateful and I hope that other young people get the chance to, and ESA gets to develop more filmmakers of color, more women filmmakers, and push a program that helps people apply the artistic learnings to their everyday lives. Hello, my name is Olivia Kerr, um, and I graduated from the ESA Contemporary Art Department in 2018, um, and I'm now in Halifax at Dalhousie University doing a double major in biochemistry and neuroscience. Um, I think the time that I spent at ESA is one of the experiences that I'm most grateful um, to have in my life. I learned so much from my time there um, and so many things that I really carry forward with me into my personal and professional life um, now. Uh, I think kind of the two main things that I would want people to know looking at this school um, about what they are going to receive um, and get from their time there. Um, first of all, you are led into this community that offers this really unique type of support uh, that I don't think many other places do. Um, and it's, you know, not only having a few mentors or a group of friends who care about you and want to see you succeed, but having an entire community of people who are really um, there to help you and be there for you, um, not just as you, you know, complete tasks put in front of you um, and do well at things that are asked of you, but as you figure out for yourself what those things that you want to do are um, and you design them and then you do them um, and they're there to to support you through that and through you figuring that out and help you be the best at what you want to do. I think the chance to uh, really put yourself into something um, for so many years is kind of rare um, for you know someone at the age of 18 to leave high school saying I spent three to four years working intensely on you know developing and creating and producing this body of work that I'm really proud of and that I think really speaks to who I am. Um, and that's a process that requires you really uh, working to understand yourself. Um, there's so many things that I learned about myself um, through, you know, deciding what the body of work that I wanted to make was. Um, and it also just really teaches you what it feels like to care so intensely for something and to put so much effort into something. And, you know, I'm now studying science. It's in some ways really different from creating a body of artwork. Um, but there's so much that I can draw from that experience of knowing what it feels like to really want to succeed at something and knowing how I work best at putting my time into something, how I want to be thinking about the things that I care about, um, and how important it is to remain honest and vulnerable um, through that. And you get to explore that at ESA in, in a community of people who really want to be there for you and help you do that. And I think that's such a you know, wonderful and unique thing that can help anybody 
um, I know is something that I'm so thankful for every day. Hi, my name is Kieran Brennan Hinton. I'm a visual artist and I was the DSA from 2006 to 2010 in the visual arts department. I want to speak a little bit today about my experience at DSA and how that experience has shaped and allowed me to be where I am today. While at DSA, there was a focus on developing the personal content of your work. So not just what you're making paintings of, but what you're making paintings about. And then how that work that we're putting into the world can have an impact on the community and the people that are around us. For me, the ability to witness the potential of art to really expand our emotional vocabularies and the ways that we feel was such a fundamental and foundational aspect of allowing me to pursue a career in this field. I had a memory of being in grade 10 and finishing a project and the head of the visual arts department, Matthew Berry, came up to me and said, you know, like this is something that you could do. This is really a possibility for what your life could be. And I never really believed something like that until that moment encouraged me to pursue this afterwards and outside of just kind of being a pastime and as a hobby. So when I was in my final year at ESA, I was encouraged and helped to apply to a bunch of different schools from Glasgow to Amsterdam to New York to Chicago to San Francisco. And as I began to visit these schools and just kind of see what was out there, it felt like the whole world was opening up. And this was something that was only really possible with the encouragement and with the help from ESA, the community of students, and especially the staff. And what I decided to do was go to Pratt Institute in New York. And I was able to go there because they offered me a scholarship based on the portfolio that I put together of the paintings that I made at ESA. And after Pratt, I was in my final year there and I applied to grad school. I got into Yale School of Art, so I went to Yale and I was the youngest student in my class at Yale and did two years there and then I've subsequently been living in New York, in between New York and Toronto and have maintained a studio space in New York for the past four years. And I exhibit with a gallery in New York and I have upcoming shows in Stuttgart, Germany in the summer of 2021 and then in New York in 2021 in the fall and we'll be in the Art Gallery of Ontario in 2022. For me, ESA has been such a fundamental building block to be able to pursue a career like this and even just to have the belief that it was possible at all. So I would encourage anybody who's thinking about applying just to submit an application, no matter where your portfolio is at, it's the vision and the belief of the students and the teachers who make this place possible that really allow lives to be changed and I really hope that that experience is, um, is shared for anybody who decides to make the application. Growing up and trying to find my place in this world, uh, I knew that I, I needed art, especially being uh, dyslexic. I had, you know, sort of difficulties with reading and writing, uh, yet I uh, had some skills and, and uh, you know, always kind of excelled in the arts. And so getting into Etobicoke School of the Arts was very important to me because I knew art was my path. But I also had to you know, excel in the subjects that weren't my strong suit either, which the school definitely did help me do. It was difficult, but it recognized me for my strengths and my weaknesses, and we worked through it together. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for, for not only the art program, but all of the, 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 the programs that the school had. Topical School of the Arts makes it possible. It, uh, it gives you the best chance, you know, to get into the best universities and really propel you to, to the next level. It's a stepping stone, but it's also maybe your most crucial point in your life. It's where you define who you are. It's those crucial years when you look back. When I look back to my, like, you know, my high school years, those were the years where I really figured out who I was and figuring out who I was in an environment that was conducive to individuality and you know being different, being strange and being colorful. Not just being that way, but also gave you a foundation to solidify that in a practical sense. I now have a successful business selling my art on a global scale. I am confident that I would have not been able to do that without Toko School of the Arts. So for all you students, all you young artists out there, just keep believing on in yourself. The Topical School of the Arts is an amazing school and I went there 
I look back fondly on that experience. I also know that it was a huge stepping stone for me at a crucial point in my life. Now, living the dream. So <laughs> I hope that this message has encouraged you to do what you're meant to do. Hi, my name is Marie Felgate, and I am a graduate of the Utopical School of the Arts. I'm a dancer, a choreographer, and a dance educator, and I have been for the past 20 years. So dance is a huge part of my life and of my identity. And the Utopical School of the Arts was a huge part of that. Um, it really started me on the path towards the life that I have now, and I'm so, so grateful for that. I can't really say enough great things about the school. What strikes me when I think back was the way that as soon as I stepped into that building, I, I felt a sense of belonging and of welcoming. And that really allowed me to thrive, um, not only creatively, but also academically and socially. Um, I could just really be myself. I think there can sometimes be a misconception that because it is artistically based, that other things get left behind academics or um, perhaps one isn't as prepared for the world out there after. Um, not as well prepared as, as if you went to another institution, but I actually think that it's the opposite. I think that deep sense of commitment um, and care and discipline that is cultivated at a place like ESA really prepares you so much for whatever is to come, whether that is in the arts or, or other uh, fields. And I just can't say enough great things about it. I, I would recommend it to anyone. It's a very special place. Hi, my name is Alice and I'm currently doing a Master's of Computer Science, um, but I went to ESA for film in high school. Being able to come to a room every single day of mature, bright, supportive, and unique individuals uh, was really an escape from anything else that's probably going on in your life at the time. Regardless of whether or not you know what you want to do with your life, because I definitely didn't at the time, I can tell you that I still use a lot of the skills that I learned at ESA Film in my life currently. As someone who went into a STEM field, I can tell you that good and convincing storytelling skills are something that I've used to write published papers and give oral presentations that have won me awards. Uh, on top of all of that, it's a great conversation starter with anyone I've met along the way. Um, and although it's been almost six years and I did not continue to pursue film, it's still a community that I feel really lucky to be a part of. So if ESA film is something that you're considering, I really encourage you to apply and I'm sure you won't regret it. Hi, I'm Emma Jade Sims. I am a 2011 graduate from ESA and I was a drama major. Today I work as an actor in the theater and TV and I know that ESA definitely laid the foundation for my career path so I must thank that school for um, allowing me to be me. Um, being a teenager is already so hard and being in that school, I was able to express myself openly and honestly, and I was very well supported by the people in that building and can't thank them enough because they truly saved my life. Um, and I'm really thankful to the educators in that building for being passionate about what they do and passionate about the success of their students. Um, yeah, that school really, um, really opened my eyes to a lot of things and it not only made me a better artist, but also made me a much better person. So I'm very thankful for the education I got there. Hi, prospective ESA students. Uh, my name is Jocelyn Hudon and I'm an actress. I actually went to ESA for dance, whoop whoop. One thing I wanna say to prospective applicants or students is just looking back on it, I think the most I don't know, the thing that really made ESA special was it's a bunch of students who not only have the talent to get in, but go through an interview, an audition, and they they make it into this like select hand-picked school. So I think you kind of become the people you hang around. So it's raising everyone to a certain level, which I think really helped me in my life. Um, and then you're with people who are so, focused and talented and special and weird that 
there's not really time for anything else. Like there's no time for cliques or bullying or any of the other stuff that you see on like TV about high school. Like I, we really didn't have any of that. Just my experience. Like we didn't, you don't have bullies, you don't have groups. You're just there to do something really special and surrounded by a bunch of other people who do equally as special things. Hi, I'm Ella Valentine. I was an ESA graduate of 2019, and Etobicoke School of the Arts was the best high school for me to go to for many reasons, but I think the one that impacted me the most is just the overall community. When you are with people your own age who are all artists, it really does change the high school experience because artists view the world in a very different way, and so having your peers be people who are encouraging you to live your truth and to explore it and, and figure it all out. It is so comforting and freeing. And the staff and the teachers, they really understand that too. And it has such an impact on your growth during your high school years. And so it doesn't matter what major you go into, just the overall atmosphere is really, really freeing. Attending the ESA film program and ESA in general was one of the better decisions I made in life. It was a program that even now, I graduated in 2012, <laughs> I'm still in touch um, with my teachers, I'm still in touch with the students that I went to class with, and more importantly, I still work with students that I went to ESA with. Uh, I work full time in film production, and it's very common to see other ESA students, whether it be that they were in the same year as me or you're too older and there's kind of this unspoken bond from the school that's really nice. I felt that it gave me basically an additional four years of university and time to explore and expand on what I want to focus on in life. So I felt like it was really a massive step forward and a massive leg up. Hey, my name is Michael Cedar. I am an actor, a director, a writer, and a graduate of Etobicoke School for the Arts. I don't think I would be where I am by any means if it weren't for ESA. Uh, and my best friends in the world still to this day are the people I met during my time at ESA, which for all of us was a second home. So if you're passionate about the arts, creativity, it's an amazing place to go. And if your parents are curious, because all the students really want to be at the school, it attracts incredible teachers not just in the arts side, but on the academic side. And all of my friends said going to university that they felt incredibly prepared for university because the performance, the creativity gives you all these strengths, but on the academic side that they were incredibly prepared. So that's, that's you know, something. And uh, I'm just very jealous of anybody who's about to embark on that journey because it is such an amazing, amazing place. Hello everybody, my name is Nick Stead and I was a graduate from the drama program at Etobicoke School of the Arts back in 2012. Uh, I work now as a professional stunt performer here in the film industry in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And I accredit a lot of the things that I apply to my performance on screen or in theater to things that I learned at Etobicoke School of the Arts in their drama program. Um, the teachers who were always pushing me and forcing me out of my comfort zone in very, very good ways. Um, learning how to work in a creative and dynamic environment with other artists and exploring my own creative limits. I accredit a lot of these trip attributes and virtues that I now have and I apply to the film industry to, you know, things and lessons that I learned at Etobicoke School of the Arts. It's an absolutely fantastic program and I would encourage any young adult who wants to take that step into being a performer both for theater and uh, television to, yeah, give it a shot. Etobicoke School of the Arts matters because it is basically giving you a higher level education, like a university level education at such a young age. You get undivided attention, portfolio workshops that are going to bring you and your art to the next level. It's going to challenge you. It's going to make you search deep inside your soul and find what matters and propel that forward. If art is for you and you have the opportunity to go to this school, 
I would highly recommend it above all. It's not only a creative environment, but it challenges you and it will be a challenge. It's not easy. It's given me the tools that I need to be a successful artist and, and create an entire world of, of color that I, I now live in. I want to encourage you to chase that belief that you have. If you believe in yourself and you want to take your dreams to the next level, this is the place to do it.